So hello, this is a first in a short series of videos regarding Jetpack when it comes to WordPress. Jetpack is something we installed in October of 2013 to the Nebraska Libraries on the Web project sites. And when you first notice it is in logging into your dashboard as I've done here, you will see that it says Jetpack is ready to be installed and ready to bring awesome. Uh, Jetpack offers several features that we're going to talk about uh, in general in this video and then for some of them which I think are going to be the more useful to our libraries. I'll create separate videos for that but I uh, highly recommend you watch this one first because if nothing else it will get Jetpack turned on for your particular site. You can access Jetpack a couple of ways. One is if you do have this banner, you have not closed it already, which you can close it using this X here, you can click on Learn More. Um, you can also get to the same place once you've set up Jetpack by clicking on the Jetpack here in the dashboard menu on the left. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now what we've got here is the Jetpack menu and at the moment none of this actually works. Um, but I want to cover a couple of the things that it will do for you so you can decide if you want to turn it on or not. Basically there are three features here that I will create separate videos for and I will encourage you to use. Um, the first one is listed here as WordPress.com stats. Originally, uh, earlier on in this project, I was recommending people turn on Google Analytics. Unfortunately, Google Analytics has changed how it works and we can no longer use it based on our setup. So WordPress.com stats is going to be the way you can now get uh, use of statistics for uh, your website's number of visitors, things like that. Um, the other one is Publicize. This will allow you to write content for your blog and then automatically cross post it to other services such as Twitter and Facebook. Uh, this is something I use personally. This is something I highly recommend if you have such as something such as a Twitter or a Facebook account. This way you can just write a blog post here and when you click Publish here it will automatically go to your uh, other social networking accounts. Um, the third one I want to talk about real briefly here and I need to scroll down to find it is um, it's going to be an email thing here as you can see there is a lot of options and I have obviously missed the one that I'm looking for here um, subscriptions there we go um, subscriptions allows you to add a widget to your site so that people can subscribe to your website via email if they wish to so if you uh, have patrons or visitors that want to receive your updates via email instead of RSS or having to come to the website subscriptions you can is something you can turn on and have available on your site for your users. So, um, but you'll notice here all these just have these learn more buttons. They don't actually work yet because the first thing you need to do is in this blue box here at the top, it says connect to wordpress.com. So what I'm going to show you in the rest of this video is how to do that. Okay, so step number one is go ahead and click on connect to wordpress.com and then it's going to ask you to enter username and password for the wordpress.com website. Now, we're running WordPress, but we are not WordPress.com. WordPress.com is a hosted service where people can use WordPress uh, without paying for it, without hosting it themselves. You're using the commission's copy of WordPress, not WordPress.com. So chances are you don't already have an account. If you do, go ahead and type in your username and password here. However, I'm gonna assume you don't have one, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on need an account. And then it's going to ask you to fill in an email address, a username, and a password. Now it may pre-fill in the email address as you can see here. And actually I'm not going to actually use this one because it's a separate account I have here. We're going to set up NLC Social at Nebraska.gov. Uh, and then it's going to ask me to pick a username and I'm going to call this NLC Social and then put in a password. Now I'm going to cheat here just a little bit. I've pre-configured a password on another screen here and I don't really want to show that to you so I'm going to go ahead and copy it and then paste it into this field and I just showed you that password. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to pick a completely different one um, and in fact you know what I'll use that one and I'm just going to go ahead and change it in a minute here so that you won't be able to notice it. We'll go hide there and then we'll go ahead and click sign up. So at this point what I'm going to get here is a check your email to complete your registration. So an email is going to come into my email account and when I get that and I'm going to go ahead and check my email while I'm talking here. 
while I get when I once I get that, excuse me, um, it's going to have a link that I'm going to need to click on to verify my email address to make sure I'm sending it to a legitimate email address. Once you get that, you will click on the link in the email and that will activate your account. Then what you're going to need to do is go back to the authorized Jetpack screen here. You're going to type in your username and your password and click on authorized Jetpack. Once you have authorized Jetpack, then all of those features that I showed you on the screen with all the boxes, the publicize, the subscribe, the stats, those features will then be turned on and will not only have learn more buttons, but will also have configure buttons. Once you've got those, uh, once you've got this authorized, any service you want to turn on from Jetpack, just go ahead and click on that configure button. And like I said, for at least those three services that I specifically mentioned, there will be separate videos uh, shortly available on the online training screen that will show how you how to configure and use those individually. So as always, if you have any questions, just go ahead and leave a comment in this video on the project blog and um, just go ahead. Once you get this turned on, watch those other videos and you'll learn how to use those features. Thanks.